Who owns a fan's love for their favorite team? Who owns the hashtags that they use to show that love? For years, Avs fans have predicted which player will score first using the hashtag Avs Twitter Psychic. This weekend, the team's owner, Cronky Sports, swept in, took the hashtag, and branded it with a sponsorship. Our Steve Steger looks at who owns online love. For 13 years, Jay Veen has had a conversation with Avs fans through the Avs Hockey Podcast. And back in 2013, that conversation moved to Twitter, where Jay created a game. He told us about Avs Twitter Psychic during a taping of our podcast from the Cheap Seats earlier this year. I just wanted to have fun. I wanted to celebrate whether they won or lost because they're going to lose. Um, it's, it's sports, right? But it's become this super inclusive thing where it doesn't matter. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to know hockey. Before each Avalanche game, fans tweet who they think might score the Avs' first goal with the hashtag Avs Twitter Psychic. A good friend of the show, he always says it's the it's everybody's favorite game to lose because you, you have to celebrate an Avalanche goal, um, but it may not be your guy. It got so popular that even the team got in on it. And the Avalanche have been so kind to kind of play. Uh, a couple fans asked them to play throughout the years. In the last, like, three seasons, they've played every game. And that was great until Saturday, when the team began monetizing the hashtag with the sports gambling site FanDuel as a sponsor. Veen was crushed, tweeting that the game was supposed to be about community, not money. And the fans agreed, lashing out at the Avs with dozens of replies, something the organization hasn't responded to yet. Veen didn't want to comment on the story as he tries to figure out what's next for the game. So we reached out to Cronky Sports and Entertainment today. They own the Avs. We also asked FanDuel for comment. No such luck from either side. So the question is, can you trademark a hashtag? Yeah. This is a relatively new part of trademark law, but the attorneys that I talked to today say if you tie it to a good or service, say you put it on a shirt, then you might be able to actually file a trademark for it. But in this case, it doesn't seem like there's an actual physical item. That, that it's on at this point. Yeah. I kind of think that we need to take care of Hey Next before that Jim Beneman over at <laughs> Channel 4 takes it. That's what I He's was a thinking. slippery fish. He is. Yeah. He is. Right. By the way, no tweet from the Avs tonight. Game's going on right now. Oh, they didn't really? Tweet. Ooh, wonder if they got some blowback. I All wonder. Right.